Hi everybody, today I will show you how to create a login page in Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the login page in Elementor, what we need to do, we have to install the plugin. So let's just go inside the plugin and click on add new here. And here what we need to do, we have to write down Sina here. Alright, so as you can see here, we have Sina extension at the top of the search for Elementor. So we have to install this and click on activate all right so now what we need to do we have to create the new page for our login page so let's click on add new page here okay so here let's just write down the name of the page so that would be login page save the draft now let's just click on edit with elementor and we will be redirected to the elementor editor all right, so as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So now what we need to do, first of all, I have to change the layout of the page. So let's click on the settings. And from here, I actually want to occupy the full width here. So I will simply click on Elementor full width. And now you can see here that we have the full width page here. Okay, so now what we need to do, we have to add the container here. So let's click on the add. And I want to add the two column structure. So let's click on the two column structure here. All right. So now let's just click here. And in the first column, I would actually like to add the image here. And in the second column, I would actually like to go here with the login. Okay. So as you can see here that we have the Sina login form. So we have to drag this and put this here. And now you will be able to see the login here. Okay, so we have the email and the password. All right, so first of all, let's just add the image here. So let's click here. Click on the choose image. I will just simply pick any image from here. Uh, and you can also upload the image if you want to. But I will simply go here with this one. Click on the select. And let's just click on the edit container here. And I want to put this into the center. So I will simply click on the center here. Now you can see this we have our login form into the center okay so now let's just click on our login form here okay so in the login form as you can see here the first thing that we have is the form settings so in the form setting we have the email placeholder text we have the password placeholder text and we also have the redirect url after the login so it simply means that when you click on the login button after uh, putting the data of your email after putting your data where you would be redirected and after that we have the option to remember the login but right now i don't want to remember the login so let's just disable this value okay so after that we have the submit button so in the submit button as you can see here yeah, that we have the login state and we have the label for our button so that is login so if you want to change the label here you can simply do it from here and after that we have the icon so if you want to add the icon to your login button or the submit button you simply click here and you can simply add the icon from here okay so let's write down saying here because i want to use this icon okay so now you can see here we have this icon here and you can change the spacing of the icon and you can change the position of the icon and in the last we have the icon effects so in the icon effects you can see here we have the uh, different values here so if i just click on the icon right bouncing you can see this we have this effect on our icon okay so you can simply play around with these values here okay you can see here so after that we have the style so in this style we have the field and the remember text so first of all we have the placeholder text so if you want to change the placeholder text you can simply do it from here and if you want to change the typography you can do it from here and we have the box shadow so if you want to add the box shadow, you can simply do it from here. We have the text color, we have the background color. So if I just change the background color from here, you can see here, I can simply change the background color from here. But right now I'll simply go here with the default value. And after that, we have the border type that is solid. We have the border width, so you can simply change the width of your border. And we also have the border radius. So I would actually go here with 10 px. And you can see here, we can also add the padding here. So you can see here, I can also write down the padding here. And I also and I can also add the margin here. So if I just write down 10 peaks here at the top, you can see here. Or we can go here with the 20 peaks as well. 
So after that, we have the email. So in the email, we have the box data, we have the width, we have the radius, we have the margin, and we also have the same options in the password as well. And after that, we have the password. We still have the same options, box shadow, width, radius, and the margin. And in the last, we have the submit button. So in the submit button, you can actually add the image if you want to. You can add the text shadow, you can add the box shadow. We have the border type and we have the width. So if I just increase the width here, maybe this one. Okay. So I just want to balance this out with the two fields, with the width of both of these fields here. Okay. So I think that is okay at the moment. And we can change the value of the radius padding. We have the margin and we can also change the alignment here. And we have the background hover style. So if you want to add the hover style here on the background, you can simply add it from here. So let's click here and it will be slide right. So when I hover over the button here, as you can see here, we have this animation on hovering. Okay, so these are the styling options here. And if you want to go inside the advanced setting, and in the advanced setting, as you can see that we have the bunch of different options here. So you can explore these options by yourself. Okay, so this is how we can create the login page in the Elementor. Okay, so let's add the title here as well. So let's click here. And I want to add the heading. Let's just put this here. And this would be login. And let's just click on the style. Okay, click on the color here. And we can change the color here. Okay, so this is looking better. So this is it. Okay, so we have added the heading here. All right. So now let's just try to add the spacing here and here. So let's click here on the edit section and click on the advance. And here, let's just unlink the values 40 px here and under px from bottom. So this is looking fine here. Now let's click on the publish. Click on a have a look. Okay, so you can see the login page here and this is how we can create the login page in Elementor. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.